Hello everyone. Um, all right, so today is July 16th, uh, 2020, and I want to review space today. Now, um, first thing I want to do is actually, um, I want to back trade it first, and then I'll show you how I played it. But um, space is having a gap or, or was gapping up this morning. So the first thing that I, I do, and I, I've actually done this before because I trade space a lot, but if I look on my monthly chart, I find my high, all-time high, and my all-time low. I mark them in red. That's these thick red lines. Then I go to my weekly chart. From there, with these thick blue lines, I identify support resistance, key support resistance. Um, and as Jeremy puts it, no more than four. So I've got those there. Then I go to the daily chart, and I put these daily targets. So these are pivots that I find on the, on the daily. So I have one here. Um, I have another one up here. Um, and then uh, on the daily, I also mark... I would have one right here as well, but I've already got a weekly resistance line there, so I just leave it there. Um, I mark the prior day high and the prior day low. I then go into the pre-market, and I mark the pre-market high and the pre-market low. So there's my pre-market high. My pre-market low is right here. And then I'm ready for the trade. So in this particular... Um, trade, I was actually looking at both the five minute and the three minute. So I'm going to put the five minute on this side like I do, and I will put the three minute over here. And then I'm going to back trade the three minute because that's where I ended up taking the trade anyway. All right, so I've got all my levels set up, and now I'm about to back trade. The three minute now um, what I want to do is I just want to scooch this over so I can't see it I'll look at the first candle and then basically first candle comes in on the three minute and before this candle shows up because this is obviously six minutes later the five minute candle is right there now I did like that hammer and I, I know that the, the trading room also liked that hammer and was going to play this trade. Um, I was playing it differently. Um, I just set my entry, my stop below the low right here. And this is where I was going to play the trade. Now, what ended up happening is as soon as this candle came in, this three-minute candle came in, I scooched my entry down here. And I would, I would do this again the same way. Now, the only difference here is what I normally would do. All I did was move this down um, to here. Now, I did not, because what I would have done is actually move my stop up, and I would have closed my position size. So this is how I would trade it if I did this again. I would have entered right here. Next candle, I'm in. And it's, it's working, but I'm concerned because here's the pre-market high right there. And it, I would have liked to have seen a close above that pre-market high. So right now I'm a little bit concerned. Um, this could very well be a resistance and a rejection right here. So I'm waiting for my next candle. And now I've got to close above the pre-market high. I like this. So from here, um, I would normally take, I would put a stop right here for a... Um, a 30% um, profit. So uh, that's what I'll do. If it drops back down below this level right here, I'll take a 30% 30% um, partial fill here. And at that point, I would also be moving my stop to break even. So right here, new day trade stop. Right, now I'm guaranteed not to lose on this trade. So let's play this through. Now I still have not taken a partial yet. 
and my first target is 2103. But at the same token, I also have 2R right there. So if I do not get a partial fill at this point, what will happen is if I get past this 2R, I will move my partial fill stop up to the 2R. So if it does retrace a little bit, I will take a partial uh, at 2R. Right there, I get filled on my partial. Remember, my stop is still at break even. I'm now closed above 2R, and I'm aiming for my second target. I won't move my stop again until I hit another target. So I need to hit that target. I'm pretty darn close right there. Okay, so right there I get a close above my target. So I will now put a, another 30% Take another 30% partial fill here if it retraces. And now I'm also going to move my stop. Oops. I have a stop here. I'm going to move that stop. And I'm going to move that stop to 2R now. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to move it right to there, to that low. Now I'm looking for my, okay, so there's a partial right here. My final target is going to be at this point here. So if I, uh, if I get a close above here, or if I hit this target, get it close to that, I will be taking my final portion of trades right there unless I get stopped out before then, or trailed out, I should say. So right here, I now have a another and I would move a stop or I put a stop right here actually just let's go like this um, I would now be moving my stop for my final take all right here if it retraces and at this point every five minute candle that goes up I will be moving it to the low but right there I got trailed out so I got trailed out at my target and that would be the end of the trade now there was more to be taken here, um, just a little bit more, but not much. And as you can see that um, we're now sitting right there. So if I had played it that way, I would have ended up getting all out at 4R. Um, of course, I wouldn't have had 4R because I was taking partials along the way, but that was a good trade. Now, that being said, this is how I actually played it. Um, again, I set up my trade on the five minute and then I moved it down to here. Um, I did not resize this position, even though um, I would have done much better on the trade if I had. I didn't. Um, I left my stop there. So I ended up getting filled. I took a 30% partial when it retraced here. I then took a, another 30% at the average true range target. Um, and then I exited all um, kind of right in, right in here when it, it seemed to be making another low. And that was more of a, you know what, I just want to lock in as close to two R as I can. Um, because it had already hit the average true range. It was close to the target. Um, so I questioned whether or not it had a lot more to go in. Now, uh, I adjusted how I normally play, and, uh, and that's because I was trying to lock in some R's. Um, otherwise, the way that I normally would play following all of my, my, um, my typical movements, um, you saw in the, earlier that's how I would have played it. And as you can see, it, it actually, I would have exited at my 
big target, but it hit two other targets that I had on the, uh, on the chart originally. So um, that's it. That's how I played um, space. That's how I would have played space. And hopefully there's some learning for everybody and um, we, can do, uh, we can do this again sometime.